8 Ways to Clear Out Plaque from Your Arteries Welcome back to Ryan Taylor Natural Remedies. Today, let's talk about a common health concern that affects over 40% of middle-aged people. It's called atherosclerosis, a condition where the inner walls of your arteries become damaged and clogged up with the stiff material that we call plaque. This hard, calcified plaque can make your arteries become more narrow, which blocks the normal flow of blood, causing poor circulation and a higher risk of heart attacks, strokes or blood clots. Clogged arteries is actually one of the leading causes of death in the world and is usually caused by lifestyle factors such as eating too many junk foods, being under stress, smoking and not getting enough oxygen, etc. Here's some symptoms of clogged arteries to be aware of. Some people experience a feeling of pressure or pain in their chest when they're emotionally stressed out or they're exercising and then the pain goes away again when they relax. The pressure feeling is often being caused by the high blood pressure and the poor circulation of blood to and from the heart because of the plaque. Another sign of clogged arteries is referred pain or swelling in the left side of your body, such as your left shoulder or your arm. You could also feel like you can't catch your breath, especially when you're walking because not enough oxygen is circulating through your arteries. In some people, there are simply no symptoms whatsoever and the plaque can continue to build up inside the arteries for decades getting thicker and thicker without being noticed until a blockage occurs. For this reason, today I want to share with you 8 powerful ways to unclog the arteries and also help the artery walls to heal by reducing inflammation. These tips may help to increase blood circulation and lower the risk of heart attacks, strokes and blood clots. This video is educational only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. Number 1 is Natokinase Natokinase is an enzyme that's been used by the Japanese for over 2000 years and this is made from fermented soybeans. Natokinase is a very effective remedy for improving blood flow around the body as it helps to reduce swelling and inflammation in the arteries. Natokinase has actually been shown to dissolve blood clots by breaking down fibrin a stiff material that's found in arterial plaque. It's also been shown to lower the risk of thrombosis, reduce high blood pressure and suppress the thickening of the artery walls. If you wish, you could start taking a daily supplement of 200mg natokinase in a capsule. 2. Increase antioxidants Around 50% of the plaque in the arteries is made out of HDL cholesterol that has become oxidised. Antioxidants like vitamin C and E, however, help to prevent this cholesterol from becoming oxidised and sticking to the artery walls. They also help to lower inflammation and heal the existing damage in order to thin out the plaque. One of the best ways to increase your vitamin E levels is by eating foods like avocados, sunflower seeds, hazelnuts, extra virgin olive oil and all of the leafy green vegetables. You can also increase your vitamin C by simply eating more berries, sauerkraut, bell peppers and cruciferous vegetables. Please note that in addition to adding more antioxidants into your diet, you should also be avoiding things that deplete them, like smoking, vaping, sugary foods, alcohol, vegetable oils and high levels of stress. Which brings me on to number 3, lowering cortisol. Doctors often tell you that heart disease and heart attacks can be brought on by stress but they never tend to explain why. Well, when we suffer from emotional stress, our bodies make and release a stress hormone called cortisol. This cortisol constricts the blood vessels, increases blood pressure and your blood sugars and over time with perhaps months or years of stress, the cortisol puts a strain on the body leading to higher levels of VLDL cholesterol, inflammation and damage in the artery walls. So it is very important to lower this cortisol and manage your stress. Here's a few ways that you could do this. Simply drink one cup of lemon balm tea daily to help turn off the stress response in the body. 
Take a slow, gentle walk daily for 45 minutes in nature. Fresh air and low stress exercise also turns off the stress response. And you could also take slow, deep breaths into your diaphragm for 5 minutes. You can do this morning, noon and night for 5 minutes. Lowering cortisol not only helps to protect and heal your arteries, but it also helps people to lose weight, sleep better and think more clearly. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on so that I can keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. Number 4 is Timed Eating Research shows that fasting can reduce the thickness of plaque in the coronary artery, lowering the risk of heart attacks and cardiovascular disease. During fasting, the body changes its source of energy from glucose to fats. This shift helps to mobilise cholesterol and lipids, which are blood fats. Fasting also triggers autophagy, a process where your cells remove damaged parts, including arterial plaque, and clears them out. One of the best fasting patterns to clean the arteries is called 24. This is where you eat all of your calories for the day in a 4 hour window and then fast for the remaining 20 hours. Studies show that people who lived through prolonged periods of starvation during World War II had little to no plaque in their coronary arteries. Number 5 is exercise for 20 minutes. Studies show that regular fast paced aerobic exercise can reduce the thickness of the plaque inside the arteries, whilst also improving the tone of the heart and the smooth muscles that line the arteries. You see, when you work out, your body takes in more oxygen which helps to improve the health of the blood vessels and reduce the formation of plaque. It also helps to stabilise any existing plaque to prevent it from breaking off and forming a dangerous blood clot. So aim for a bare minimum of 20 minutes cardio 3 times per week, such as biking, jogging or swimming. And on the other days you could do some slow gentle walks for 45 minutes in nature as I talked about earlier. 6. Omega 3s to maintain healthy arteries, it's very important to balance the omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids in your diet. Omega-6s found in processed vegetable oils and processed foods promote inflammation which causes some of the plaque to form inside the arteries. Omega-3s on the other hand have anti-inflammatory effects and these can improve the elasticity of the artery walls for better blood flow and preventing narrowing and clogging of the arteries further. So increase your omega-3s by eating more wild salmon, sardines, mackerel, herring, virgin cod liver oil, walnuts and flax seeds. You should also be cutting out the soy, corn, canola, cottonseed oils, margarine, fast foods, deep fried foods etc as these are high in omega-6. Number 7 is garlic. New studies are showing us that there is a harmful bacteria that invades the artery walls, causing inflammation and a buildup of plaque. This is actually the same bacteria that causes hard calcified plaque in your mouth and on your teeth. So you can imagine how stiff this is making your arteries. And this is where garlic comes in. Garlic contains a very powerful natural sulphur called allicin which gives it that pungent smell and flavour. This allicin has been shown to destroy the harmful bacteria that invades the artery walls by breaking up the calcium shell called a biofilm that surrounds it. So simply start to eat more fresh, cooked and raw garlic in your diet to help decalcify your arteries. Or if you don't like the taste, you could take a supplement containing 2400 milligrams of aged garlic extract daily. Other foods that can help to destroy this bacteria include raw coconut oil, cinnamon, oregano and green tea. And number 8 is apple cider vinegar. High blood sugars and insulin resistance is one of the main causes of endothelial dysfunction and clogged arteries. However, drinking one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar mixed in a glass of water before each meal can supply ketones to your body. These help to stabilise your blood sugars and reduce insulin resistance, 
which is absolutely necessary when you're trying to unclog the arteries. You may also follow a low carbohydrate diet such as keto, do exercise, intermittent fasting and get more vitamin D from sunshine to help reverse insulin resistance. Key takeaways. So let's take a look at a quick summary of the 8 ways to clear arteries from plaque. Take natokinase, an enzyme which dissolves blood clots and fibrin from arterial plaque. Increase vitamin C and E antioxidants. Lower your cortisol, the stress hormone, by walking, drinking lemon balm tea and deep breathing. Practice timed eating to trigger autophagy and dissolve plaque. Aim for a minimum of 20 minutes vigorous exercise 3 times per week. Consume more omega-3s and less omega-6s to lower inflammation. Use garlic or aged garlic extract to destroy harmful bacteria within the artery walls. And reduce insulin resistance by using apple cider vinegar and a low carb diet. To learn more about specific vitamins and supplements to help unclog the arteries, go ahead and tap on the video that I've put on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.